Greetings. Welcome to Queen L79. This is Queen L. I'm so happy that you're here with me today. This video, as the title states, is about my business, Queen L. So I have a Queen L brand of products, and I just wanted to go into a bit more detail just to let you know um, what the business is all about, what my vision is for the business, as well as um, showing you the products that I have so far. So if you're interested in learning more about Queen L and how it can benefit you as well as the environment at large, then stay tuned. Okay, so first things first, I always take a sip of my tea. If you've seen any of my other videos, if you haven't, definitely check them out. Um, I am an astrologer and I have some um, Claire um, properties or Claire gifts within me, some Claire abilities. So um, I use um, tarot for um, divinatory purposes and lending um, insight into some messages that I get from the spirit guides. Also, um, I have videos on lunar cycles and the different planetary transits and aspects between planets, all that good stuff. It's just a lot of meat in my videos, um, if I must say so myself. So um, definitely check out my videos if you have not already done so. Um, I encourage you to, and I really appreciate the support. But um, what I was <laughs> what I was alluding to is I always have my tea, and I love the um, obvious reference to the red cup that people sip on. Um, however, this is a um, a metal cup, and I always have my tea in it. So today. I'm, I'm drinking Earl Grey tea. I just needed a bit of a boost. It's the afternoon and I'm kind of hitting that slump. So I just wanted to um, enjoy some tea. So just bear with me. Okay, I say, I say. So this brand is something that I'm really passionate about. It is um, specifically regarding all natural products as well as um, handmade products. So I have solely produced all of the products that I will show you today. And this is really um, a passion project for me. This is my baby and um, I'm so excited about it. I'm excited about expanding. I have all of these ideas about different products. I want to um, eventually have a full line, a catalog of products of, from different categories, um, wellness products, products for your body, um, just products that you use every day that um, may include, most of them include harsh chemicals. Um, most of them are toxic. Even the ones that, um, that state that they're non-toxic, they generally do have toxins in them. They have things in them that will irritate your skin, especially if you have sensitive skin like I do. Um, any little thing can irritate my skin. And so um, a lot of these products are too harsh for our skin. And then if you have any um, little ones, um, you definitely don't want to introduce any type of chemicals into the, their um, skin, which is our largest organ, you know? So I have um, body products and um, as well as some intention candles. Now the intention candles, they, um, not to be confused with any type of spell candles, but they are um, specifically about manifestation, about manifesting your reality and um, bringing things into fruition that you desire for yourself and for your personal space, for your environment, for your household. So um, I have a line of intention candles and I'll just go into what that means and how you would use them. OK, so I definitely don't want to um, have anyone confused out there. And also, if you have any questions about any of the products. Products, um, as far as how, especially with the things that are going on in the world right now, how I am um, safely producing the products, um, how sanitary the environment is, um, please feel free to ask me and I would be happy to explain that to you and to give you a bit more information, okay? Um, also, by the way, so the Queen L um, store, first I have a blog 
my blog is queenl.net. So it's spelled just like my YouTube channel, Dropping the 79. It's queen and then L is E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Dot net. So there's a blog there and it has information on sustainability, my thoughts on sustainability, um, my thoughts on being an empath and um, different Claire gifts and um, just my musings overall. But it also speaks to the brand and um, I hopefully in the future will actually sell my products on my website. Right now I have them available on Etsy. And um, if you're not familiar with Etsy, it's a um, just a huge, huge platform for um, crafters, for people who make handmade products, where a lot of other sites um, are for people who um, market and sell third party products, but um, or they're the third party for a vendor. But um, Etsy is about handmade products, handcrafted products, however you'd like to refer to them. So that's the platform that I'm on now and my website, and I'll have everything linked down in the description box, but my website is, pardon the noise, that was a motorcycle outside, but um, my website is queenlstore.etsy.com. Again, that's queenlstore.etsy.com. So feel free to um, check it out and look at the listings that I have. And like I said, if you have questions before making a decision to purchase, then feel free to ask me because I definitely understand as a consumer, especially when there's a new business, you're kind of like, mm, I'm interested, I'm intrigued, but maybe I'll sit tight and just wait and see how things go. Or I'll wait till I see certain reviews or, um, get word of the business from other people or see that other people are interested. And a lot of us don't want to be the ones to just jump out there and just purchase something. So that's why I'm here. I wanted to put a face with the brand. I wanted to um, go into detail with the products that I have. And um, also any questions that I'm thinking that someone might have that I might have if I were looking at those types of products, um, I would like to answer those here. And I will have um, updated videos um, on an ongoing basis because I will be adding more products um, in the very new, near future, um, honestly, even tonight. So I won't let the cat out the bag for that one. Um, you'll have to just wait till the next video and I'll tell you the um, new product that I introduced tonight. But I'm just very, very excited and I'm all about wellness. And I know that there are all these natural alternatives to, like I said, our everyday products. So why not why not opt for the natural way of doing something or using something or consuming something um, instead of just doing what we're used to doing? A lot of times we think that it's not going to be cost effective to do it, but um, it really is. It really is. That's just a myth that's out there that it's more expensive to go organic or all natural. It is not. I'm here to tell you. So without further ado, um, I would say this is by far my favorite product so far personally and i'm not just saying that because i'm the owner but really so this is my um, organic brown sugar scrub i call it vanilla cake let's see if you can see that okay so um, just to tell you on the label, because I know it's kind of fine print, it just says handcrafted in Illinois. It's an all natural exfoliating scrub for sensitive skin, but really it's for anyone. I'll tell you, so I also have a sea salt scrub and the brown sugar, the difference is, you know, obviously the texture and also um, it dissolves more, the sugar dissolves more than the um, sea salt does. So it's not as harsh or, um, you know, rough exfoliating on your skin. So this would be recommended definitely for your face versus the sea salt scrub might be a bit too harsh and also for any other sensitive area. So like your neck usually has like thinner, like more sensitive skin. Um, I would say um, even any type of like private areas, um, to be honest, like the inner thigh region, um, just any areas that, you know, you feel are a bit more sensitive or if you just have sensitive skin overall this definitely does the trick i also have organic coconut oil in this scrub as well as cranberry seeds now they just provide a natural um, exfoliant 
to um, just to add a little extra something to the scrub. So you know how, you know, things that are on the market, you might see little beads. And honestly, you don't know what those beads are. You don't know what's in them. If you look at the back of a product and read the labels, um, you'll see there are a lot of words we can't pronounce. Um, a lot of times, you know, I would say up until very recently, you would see sulfates and parabens in them and, um, just a lot of toxic ingredients. And lately, I will say that a lot of brands have started, um, you know, producing products that are more, more natural than what they had as far as no parabens, no sulfates. You'll see that a lot on products. However, there are still other products in there that are either drying to the skin, like sterile um, acetate or alcohol. You'll see... Um, just other chemicals that are in products. A lot of times it's for it to be a preservative or um, just because that's just what they do to mass produce a product is adding certain chemicals to just keep it consistent. But I, again, I'm here to tell you now, um, I would recommend like the brown sugar scrub. I would say um, it depends on the frequency of when you use it. I, in certain areas of my body, I use it daily. So I use it in the shower. And um, one key that I would say is you don't want to um, introduce any water into it because um, this is oil-based right now with it having coconut oil in there, the organic coconut oil. But once water is introduced to it, there's a chance for any type of bacteria to breed in it. And that's with any product. But um, so be wary of that. Make sure that you're always using clean fingers. I do have some little wooden scoops that come with these. Um, but I just use my fingers because I'm at home and it's for me. So um, I call it vanilla cake. And again, um, also this is nine ounces. It's funny because to me it looks small. My hands are small, but this puppy is heavy. So this is nine ounces. And um, it actually, it's nine net ounces because of the amount of product, but the jar itself is well over a pound. So, or it's like right at a pound. So anyway, um, I use this in the shower every day and, um, or every night when I take my shower and I just use it on certain areas um, that I like to exfoliate. I like to exfoliate around this area, my shoulders, my upper back, um, and just some other areas that I like to exfoliate daily. And because it's so um, fine, it's sensitive enough for you that you could use it every day. I use it on my face in certain dry patches just as needed. So lately it's been maybe twice a week that I, I notice I need to. Um, if my skin feels a little dry, I have combination skin. So like this region will be oily, but this part will be dry. So I might just use it like actually today even. I saw that my face looks a little dry. So I'll use it on this region. You can use it on your lips. And um, it just smells so good. And so I have a vanilla scent for this product. And it's a body safe scent. Um, I made sure that everything that I use is natural and is safe for um, use on skin. So this smells so good. Okay. So this is... And just for the record, like these scrubs, like since I'm going to be just showing you them, um, they won't be so. These will be ones that I keep. So um, anyway, if you can see like the texture and I'll just scoop a little out. OK, so let's put some on the back of my hand and see if you can see that. So as you see, like it dissolves pretty easily um it's not dissolving completely of course because it's sugar and sugar is not going to dis dissolve in your skin but the coconut oil really has it like you know stay moisturizing for your skin it's not just rough or abrasive and the little cranberry seeds they're so tiny you see little specks so they're so tiny that you don't even notice them but they really are acting as an additional exfoliant. So um, that's something that I like as well. Um, again, I use this every day. So I love this one. Let me get a paper towel, just kind of 
wipe my fingers off. Yeah, so that, I would have to say that the vanilla cake brown sugar scrub is my favorite. Um, just because I love this scent. And I know some people don't like vanilla, and I get that. So I do have other scents in the works just to keep it fresh and have like a variety. But this one, I love, love, love. This one is on sale on the website for, if I'm not mistaken, um, 11, 11. So um, something you'll notice about me with the pricing is I love repetitive numbers. Um, they really are symbolic of messages that we get from above, from around us, from the environment. Pardon me. And so you'll just see that it's not really like gimmicky. It's just just something, you know, that I enjoy and my preference and what I feel led to do. So anyway, this is 1111. I feel like this is a steal because for this to be nine ounces of product inside, um, I think I was going getting to how long it would last. So I've been using mine and let's see believe my husband's been using it as well, um, slightly. So this, we're down on the one that we have in our bathroom, we're down to like right here, and we've been using it, think of the date, we've been using it for like a week and a half. And like I said, I'm using it daily, I'm not sure how often he does, but that's a week and a half worth, so this could easily last like maybe two and a half weeks. So we're thinking like maybe, um, I don't know, 17 days, something like that, 18 days, if you were using it every day. And um, yeah, so $11.11, .11, I feel like is a steal. So I love, love, love this. So let me sit this on the shelf and get it out of the way. Okay, so the next scrub, this is my sea salt scrub that I have so far, and it's called The Sea, and the reason is because of the scent. So this one, with it being lighter, you can see the cranberry seeds. This one has dead sea salt. Um, it's kind of like a, a coarse texture. It might be considered like medium coarse, um, and it has the organic coconut oil, and it has um, the cranberry seeds in it. And some fragrance oil that's body safe again very simple simple ingredients um, I'm all about you know if you're making something that's natural you only need a handful or less ingredients for your product to be effective you just need to find the right products um, the right ingredients and make sure that they're high quality so that they do the job and serve the purpose that you want them to okay so this one um, it has a scent of um, frankincense and myrrh. Now, um, I wasn't familiar with that scent before I started researching different scents, so I'm not sure if you are either, but it's like a, a musk type of scent. Um, I'm not into differentiating between like a feminine or a masculine scent, so I won't even say that. Um, I do feel like this is, both of them are unisex in the sense that I mean, there's nothing wrong with smelling like vanilla. I mean, especially because I consider it like vanilla cake because of the brown sugar aspect, but there's nothing wrong with smelling like that no matter what your gender is. But this one does have more of a, um, like a sexy scent, I feel. I'm someone who likes a cologne that's less um, fruity and powdery and more like a musk type of scent or cologne. And so this has that scent. And I called it the C because it does have like kind of like a spa like feel to it. So this one um, is coarser. And I would say that um, I would recommend this one for, um, I would say like your feet. You can use it really for any part of your body. If you have sensitive skin, I would recommend that you, you focus more on the brown sugar scrub than the um, sea salt scrub. It also is good for any dry patches that you have. I would say like knees, elbows. If you have any type of condition like psoriasis or eczema, I would say be careful um, to not harm yourself because those areas, even though they're rough, they are sensitive because of what's going on. However, if you're looking to slough off any like dead skin or um, 
you know, just to kind of get yourself right. We've all been inside for so long um, and haven't been able to um, get out there and do any of the beauty services that we usually do. So it's all about doing it from home now. And besides, we don't know what is being used. I think about like pedicures that I've gotten in salons and how, you know, it feels luxurious to let them dip your feet in those, that wax and this and that. That's paraffin wax. That is toxic. So no, it's time to like let those things go. It's one of those things where like when you know better, do better. So back to the products at hand. So um, anyway, this is really good for getting off like any type of dead skin. I would say when you grab it, you have to kind of hold on to it more. Like the brown sugar, it kind of just sticks to you and you can just kind of slide it around where this one you're having to kind of grab at the sea salt and kind of like hold it and then just start kind of rubbing it in and just pick the areas and just get a little, I mean, a little goes a long way. So um, my husband has been using this one. I have only been using it for my feet, not for anything else um, because it really does do the job. So just to show you like the texture, You see it's almost like dripping off of my finger because of the, the coconut oil. So the coconut oil, it really does serve the purpose of, you know, keeping you moisturized while you're exfoliating. So it's not drying or anything at all. You know, you might be rubbing off dead skin, but you're moisturizing yourself at the same time. And that's what I love about it. And then, like I said, the scent, it's just a, like... I feel like it's just like a grown and sexy scent, to be honest. So that's this one. And um, this one's also nine ounces. It is also $11.11. .11. Another thing I want to mention is the Dead Sea Salt properties. So Dead Sea Salt is very beneficial to us because there are 21 minerals that are extracted from the Dead Sea. And that is what is in the dead sea salt. So it definitely, um, on top of having exfoliating properties, you might wanna use this in the bathtub. Just again, a little goes a long way. And after you know, you're know you using it to exfoliate and then you're just in the tub soaking, the salt you know, will kind of be absorbed into um, the water and you'll get additional properties. There are some detoxifying properties that Dead Sea Salt has. So you can put this in like a foot bath, just a little bit, and it already has a little fragrance to it. Um, you can put this if you want to soak your hands or you know anything. I would say that um, this is just really good for that. So it's definitely a multi-use product. And again, like with the other scrub, you definitely don't want to introduce any water into it. Um, I would say that this one probably will last you a lot longer because um, it's so coarse and you're just pulling a little bit out at a time. And of course, depending on how often you use it, but definitely do not introduce any type of water into it. So I always use dry hands. And if you wanted to use it, let's say in the bathtub, then maybe scoop some out into like a little dish or saucer or something and have that in the shower, I mean, in the bathtub with you instead of this jar so that you can keep this jar um, airtight with no water getting into it, okay? So there's that one. Now, the next thing is my candles. So I have these candles, like I mentioned, these um, intention candles, and um, they serve different purposes. They are herbal candles in glass jars, and the herbs are specifically chosen based on the properties that they have, um, based on the qualities that they have traditionally had. So um, before shipping the candles, um, I, as a spiritualist, I pray and, um, you know, pray over the candles and that the recipient is able to manifest what they intend to manifest with the candle. But then it's all about you. It's all about your intention. And that's why I call them intention candles. It's all about your intention and manifesting what you desire. OK, it's a very personal thing, but this will definitely move you along in the right direction. And because of the um, herbs that are within the candle, um, as you're burning the candle and saying your intentions and um, just kind of meditating on them, um, it will definitely help you to manifest those desires. So first, this one um, is my protection candle. 
And I'm calling it a first run candle because if you're not familiar with candle making, when you choose a, a candle wick, which is, you know, the little piece of material that you light when you light a candle, there are different types of wicks. There are different, um, wicks have different like thread count, like similar to a mattress, and some of them are more dense than others. So that creates either a higher burn um, than you would want or a lower burn. Now, the um, thing is you have to figure out and find the balance uh, for your particular size jar, what wick you need for it. So these are considered my part, um, protection ones being my first candles. They're considered the first run candles because they um the wick i feel once i tested one i had already made several once i tested one i in my opinion i feel like the wick is too um too small or slender for this um the circumference of this particular jar and um but the candle itself definitely um still serves the purpose that is intended and you'll still reap the benefits from it the only thing i noticed is upon lighting the candle, I needed to ooh, have that one on tight. I think my hand slipped um, slippery from the scrub. There we go. So and you see they're airtight. So um, this one, I love this scent. So the protection candle, um, it has different herbs that are inside. So I'll show you. And you see the wick, right? Right there. Okay, so this one, um, it is infused with, and I'm going to read this because I have so many different herbs that I can't keep up with them all. I have to keep track of them, you know, writing them down. So the protection candle, it's infused with juniper berry, life everlasting flower, mugwort, mullein, papaya leaf, and wormwood. So again, this is all about um, your intentions. So for protection, so all of those herbs that I mentioned, they um, were specifically chosen based on their um, qualities and their properties as far as protecting your space, protecting your energy, protecting your home. That is what these herbs are for. That's what they're used for in the spiritual realm, in the spiritual community. They're used in um, different practices depending on your beliefs. And um, because they're used for those practices, they were specifically chosen for this protection candle. Now, um, the candle itself, so the way that this would work is you think about your intentions, you ponder them, you think about what intentions you have as far as protecting your space that specifically, okay? You write those intentions down on a piece of paper, fold the paper up, and then um, and you make sure you fold like the practice is to fold toward you because it's something you're trying to bring towards you versus repelling something away from you. So you fold the paper toward you, stick it underneath the candle, set the candle down on top of the um, paper with the intentions written down, and then you light the candle. And when you light the candle, you think about those intentions. You um, can state affirmations with regard to those intentions. Um, you just need to make sure that you start with a clear mind, a fresh mind, maybe meditate beforehand. And so then you can put all of your focus on manifesting your protection intentions into reality. So that's something that you would do with this one. And um, they burn for a long time. So I've been burning the candles that I've been making. And again, they burn for a long, long time. The only thing with these first run candles is that when they burn, um, there's something called a melt pool. And what that is, is when you burn a candle, you know how the wax on the top melts. Well, with these wicks not being as dense as they should be for this particular jar size, when they melt, when the wax melts, it doesn't melt all the way to the edge of the jar. So there will be like a little bit of wax still solid around the jar. So it's no big deal. I mean, the, the candle's still melting or burning, but the problem may arise when, like, let's say, so you blow the candle out. And traditionally, I will say, I believe it's okay to burn, um, to blow a candle out. However, um, there are some people who believe that when you are using a candle for some type of practice, a spiritual practice, that you should snuff the candle. Um, what my husband does, and I didn't know that this was even a thing. So, 
definitely with regard to safety, do not necessarily take my word for it. But what he does to snuff it out is he just covers it. And I have sat there and watched it intently thinking, oh my goodness, what's getting ready to happen? And it literally extinguished the fire. I would say to make sure that you watch it to, you know, make sure that happens. Another thing is some people have a snuffer, which is like the old school, like when they have a candlestick and they'd snuff it out. So some people snuff it. Some people lick their fingers and will put the flame out with their fingertips. Um, I'm not recommending that. I'm just telling you that that's something that some people do. Um, because some people, again, there are beliefs that you should not blow something out because when you blow it out, you're extinguishing whatever your desires were instead of just putting them out. So again, just something to, you know, factor into things. So I see my videos getting long, so sorry, but I'm just so excited about these products. So anyway, um, that's how you would put the candle out. So let's say after you do that, you notice that everything was melted except for like a little lip around the outside. Well, you are just inside the jar. Um, it's no biggie. What you can do while that wax is still a bit soft because it's still warm, it felt the rest of the wax melting near it. You can take something and it could be like the back of a pen or something and just push down that wax that's around the inside of the jar. So that, that way the next time you melt it, it will just burn everything and I've tried that myself and it worked. Or you can just leave it and then over time of you burning it, it will eventually melt down because that's, that also happened to me. So because of the fact that it just from jump is not burning completely around like you would want it to, these candles with them being the first run for protection, I have marked down $1.11. So when you see these on the website, these candles specifically will be marked at $12.22, okay? Because the candle um, prices, and these are um, eight ounce jars, the candle prices are um, $13.33. So these you'll see are $12.22 just for these first run candles. So I only have several of them, I think like, five i have four or five so um once those are gone they're gone because i've already gotten some different wicks um, to replace those so that's just something to keep in mind the next candle is my devotion candle now this one as the title states is um, all about devotion it's all about love and um, i didn't want to name it love because to me it's not as simple as that it's attracting devotion, it's attracting affection, it's attracting attention to yourself. And um, some people don't want all of that, but if you want that in your life, you want to attract that to you, then um, this is the candle for that. Now, um, this one is infused with hawthorn berry, jasmine, flower, lavender, buds, lovage root, and rose. So I have rose petals in here as well. So you'll see this. And another tip, if you ever have any loose, um, I've embedded all of these herbs into the candles. And when you melt the candle or burn it, you'll notice that when there is liquid wax, you'll see them kind of floating in there. And then once it solidifies, they'll just be embedded in it again. Um, and that's just fine. I would say to definitely keep an eye on the candles because you, um, I mean, just for safety purposes with there being herbs here, but um, they're ground down and broken down enough that um, there definitely shouldn't be an issue at all, but just be careful with that. But um, when you get ready to burn one of the candles, I would say to take the candle and as you see a lavender bud, I noticed that a lavender bud um, fell into my hand. So I would say if you, you know, you check to see if there's any loose um, herbs so that you can just dump those off. You don't want any loose herbs there when you're first starting to light the, fl the flame, okay? So um, here's what this one looks on the inside. And again, so this is the devotion candle and it really is all about attraction devotion. So you would follow the same steps as far as setting your intentions, writing down what you want to attract to you. It doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic thing um, or with regard to intimacy. That typically is what people use these types of candles for, but um, it could just be attracting just some positive energy to your life attracting um, just good spirits, good vibes, 
people who are like-minded. Um, you might want to attract some friends. Um, you might want to get yourself to the next level or the next stat status of your circle, If I mean, if that's your thing. So it's all about attracting that positivity, that positive energy to you. But um, definitely write your desires down. If it has to do with another person and it, I'm trying to restore a positive relationship with someone, then when you write your intentions down, write your name down, write that person's name down as well. And remember when you're folding your intentions, fold towards you because you're trying to draw these um, things to you, okay? So this is my devotion candle. Now, next, for these next couple of candles, including the devotion one, I also have some um, four ounce tins. So this just gives you, um, if you wanted to sample any of the candles and not just purchase the full size, or if you're um, just interested, just based off of where you will place the candle in your home, you might want to start off with some of the smaller ones. So this is the one for devotion. And um, again, these are four ounce tins. So they're like aluminum tins and it's a bit wider than the other candle. Um, if you can see that. Okay. okay, it's a bit wider. Um, so that's why it's a little shorty, but um, same candle, same premise. Um, as you can see, I have the same herbs infused with the candle. Um, yeah, so it just serves the same purpose, just a different size. And these candles are $8.88, okay? So you definitely get a better deal, a better bargain, more for your money to um, get one of the eight ounce candles. But again, if you're not interested in that and just want a little shorty or want something to complement the other one, you know, you can have like a set um, because on my website, if you spend $35 or more, you get free shipping. So that's something to keep in mind as you're looking at all of the products. If you want to make purchases for yourself from somebody else, um, definitely, you know, you might want to bundle a bunch of products so that you can get to that $35 threshold to have free shipping, okay? So I'll pay the shipping for those. So this is the four ounce for devotion. The next candle, and this is the last candle that I have so far, this is the prosperity candle. So is that? Now the prosperity candle is just as it sounds. It is all about attracting prosperity and the definition of prosperity is um, success and good fortune so you're attracting um, not just um, something that's monetary you're attracting um, good fortune to yourself um, not necessarily luck if you don't believe in that but good fortune and success and success can be whatever you want it to be that's why these are intention candles you're going to write your intentions down and put that underneath the candle when you light it so this is all about you and um, receiving what you desire because it doesn't have to be some industry standard you know bump that like let's forget about the status quo or whatever it's all about you and what you personally desire for yourself okay so the prosperity candle is infused with abra camino which is another root that is known for its um its properties as far as attracting um money and wealth to yourself okay um calendula which is a flower jasmine flower lemongrass and then also life everlasting flower so these are about attracting um just attracting the success and the prosperity that you desire for yourself and the reason why i named this prosperity is because i feel like wealth and success are things that um are not necessarily tangible but you can make them tangible if you have like a monetary value or a standard that you want to meet to deem yourself as being successful but for me prosperity is something that's continual it's something that's ongoing and um, it's a legacy. So this is drawing that energy to you. And it can be drawing just the um, wherewithal, just the, um, the spirit of confidence, the air of confidence that you need to accomplish what you set out to do. Or it could actually be bringing those types of things to you, whatever you desire. Again, it's all about you. It's personal. So I'll show you what this one looks on the inside looks like. And those little orange leaves, that's the calendula. I love that. By the way, the devotion candle, it smells like, and I think I didn't talk about any of the scents. So the protection 
candle. This one smells like This one is a very, um, I feel like it's kind of like a sensual scent to it. This one, um, it has some um, honeysuckle jasmine. It also has some, um, a little bit of amber. Well, a lot of amber. And the scent that I use is called Egyptian amber. So it's kind of like an earthy scent. And so I like it to just have like, kind of like a fresh scent in my home. So that's what the protection candle smells like. The devotion candle is um, it's more of a, a lighter, you know, scent. This one is um, vanilla, and it has a slight hint of honeysuckle jasmine. And that honeysuckle jasmine, like, I'm not a flowery person, like I said, as far as scents, but it just kind of, like, cuts into the sweetness of it. So instead of it just being a sweet vanilla smelling candle, it cuts into it and it gives it a bit of something extra to just make you think like, mm, like what's that smell? That smells good. So um, I've noticed my boys really like the smell of the love candle. Um, my husband, excuse me, my husband's favorite is actually the protection one, that Egyptian amber. Um, I'm kind of on the fence because I love them all. Um, the prosperity one, this one has more of a fresh scent to it. This one is um, a red ginger saffron scent, and it also has um, a bit of frankincense and myrrh to kind of cut into it a little bit, but the ginger is kind of, that's what you're getting. It's like a bit of that spice to it, a kick. So it's like one of those scents that it smells good, but you can't really place your finger on it. You're like, what's that smell? And that's what this is. So it's a very powerful smell, and I really love it. So um, along with this candle, and again, this is that full eight ounce size, so it's $13.33 on the site. We have this four ounce little baby. And um, like I said before, it looks the same. It's just four ounces. So this is the 888 candle. And just to put this into perspective, um, I don't recommend you burning any of the candles for more than four hours at a time. And the reason is because the jar or container will start to get hot because of the constant flame and all of the wax burning down or melting down. So um, you want to just give it a break sometimes. Um, I know that some people like to put their candles on an altar and just leave them burning or like the seven day candles. So those are more of the pillar candles and that's not what this is. These container candles, you really have to be careful and practice more um, fire safety. And so definitely keep these candles away from children, away from pets, um, away from any area where they might get knocked around, where wax could fall out. So just be careful with that. Um, so I would say the four ounce ones, you could probably, if you burned this for a full four hours, um, you would probably get close to the bottom of it. So that's something to keep in mind. There will still be wax there, but definitely something to keep in mind. So if you wanted to have like a few of these of the same kind, you know, place like in your room or something um, to just create the ambiance that you'd like if you're doing any type of spiritual practice or if, um, you know, you're just trying to set the tone for something that you have going on, then um, definitely, definitely do that. If you have any questions about any of the scents, um, because I know it's hard to um, visualize what a scent might be or how it might come across just based off of somebody telling you from their perspective. So ask me, I can tell you what some of the low notes are, the middle notes, the high notes of the scent, just to kind of help you to um, better, you know, be informed about what you're going to purchase. Then finally, um, for right now, I have a salve. So I'm really into salves just to have something to rub on your skin um, versus lotions, which can be um, can usually have harmful ingredients. Um, a salve can also be good to help soothe different areas. So this is my Just Relax salve. It um, is a vanilla lavender scent. And let me show you. So this one has some lavender buds. Okay, I'm just I always test to see if they're gonna come off. So this one has some lavender buds in there. And um, that is mainly so that the salve can infuse itself or can be infused with the lavender 
for um, aromatherapy purposes. The vanilla, um, the lavender, I would say, cuts into the vanilla. So it's not like a just a sweet smelling little ointment to put on yourself. But the lavender, it lends the aromatherapy properties as well as um, just cutting into that sweet smell. So um, you would just take some of this and just kind of like rub it on you. And this is made with um, organic shea butter as well as organic coconut oil. And um, it has a bit of candelilla wax. That is a vegetable based wax that people use um, as an alternative to like a beeswax um, or any type of other wax. And that's to keep the texture the way that it is to keep it solid so that it doesn't melt because coconut oil has a 77 degree melting point. So if you want, I wanted my products to just be like coconut oil based, but I knew I needed something to one, cut into the coconut smell because I love coconut, but a lot of people don't. So um, that's where the shea butter came in, but shea butter melts too. So I didn't want this to be like some type of liquidy mess, but just to put it into perspective, I made this about two weeks ago. And as you see, it's solid. Um, obviously I have... Or maybe not obviously, but I have my AC running. However, um, you know, if you ever have like jars of coconut oil lying around um, or even shea butter, they will just melt on you like there. And it's fine, but they'll just liquefy and then they'll solidify again and they'll do that in the home. So um, I did a really good job of making sure by adding just a tiny bit of the candelilla um, vegetable based wax to um, kind of keep it from doing that. So um, this is really great for the skin and I will have other salves. Um, can't tell you exactly what, what they'll have in them, but I'm really looking forward to that. So if you'd like to partner with me, if you'd like to feature any of my products, um, I'm interested in doing uh, some type of like coupon code or promotions. So just ask me and I'm here for that. Um, so this has been a long one, but I just really wanted to go into all of my products. So if you ever have any questions, please feel free to ask. And um, if you've hung out with me this long, again, I truly appreciate it. Thank you again, Ashe. This is Queen L, and this is the Queen L brand. Again, at queenlstore.etsy.com. That's queenlstore.etsy.com. Ashe, blessings to you. Have a good one.